What up, though? Heist Man the Foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. Man, I got to chime in on something, man. First of all, one of my favorite movies of all time, man, is Clerks. Clerks on one. I love it. It's dope. Number one, Tombstone. Number two, Blood In, Blood Out, followed by Clerks. I love that movie, man. But I got to do a review, man, because they did a pop-up shop down in Orlando, Florida for um, movies. If y'all know Clerks 2, um, movies is the story inside of Clerks 2, man. Like, they was working at a restaurant, man. Very dope movie. But they did a pop-up shop down in Orlando, man. Orlando, Florida. And um, my wife found out about this, and she said, man... You know, he he would like this. Heist man would like this. Um, let's get some tickets to it, man. So we went down there, man, and like first of all, when I got down there, I knew it was not gonna be the actual building that movies was filmed in, or I knew it wasn't gonna look like that. But man, when I first thing I did when I got there, I was like, oh my god, not like this. I feel like I was watching. I was on the Matrix, man. Y'all know the woman, not like this, not like this, and she just Ugh, and she died. First man thing I got to say is like the building was almost an abandoned building about man. It, it's like they just put some memorabilia in, in the building and said this is going to be the movies, you know, location. And um, for, like, the first thing I did notice about it, they had the I show you we're open sign out there outside of movies. And it's like that ain't got nothing to do with movies, man. But it was more like this pop up place was like a, a Kevin Smith celebration or something man it, it just wasn't right man like when i first got up in there i noticed that the people running the the pop-up shop they didn't have on no memorabilia no, no clothes you know they didn't have on the, the the iconic purple shirts from that from that movie man it, it, it was weird man they had on like orlando magic shirts or movies it was like mujic like orlando mujic i'm like what is this like hold on Right there, Mujic, M-O-O-G-I-C, Mujic. They try to take, like, the Orlando Magics in the movies and hook them all up and do something like Mujic. I'm like, this is not it, man. And the dude, like, I'm talking to the people in there. I'm looking like, yo, have y'all seen the movie? They're like, nah, we ain't, I ain't never seen the movie. They had um, Jay and Silent Bob reboot on there. They had that playing in the background. i like, man, this is not it, bruh. Like... I don't know, man. I ain't, I ain't trying to down the Kevin Smith. I'm, I'm trying to down the people who put this together, man, putting this on his name. Like, I don't think he would approve of this, man. And we ain't even talk about the food, man. I try to, one ring to rule them all. Y'all know that, man. Like, hold on, man. I got I got some of the food with me, man. First of all, the food, the bag, it came in a bag, yo. And it's like a stamp. This ain't even a bag. This is Orlando 2021. It's a movies. It's a bag, man. Like, you go in there, you take your name down and stuff, and you say, yeah. Oh, yeah, because you had to sign up for it. They gave me a, a bag of food with a staple in it, man. Like, literally. You can see the staple. I open up. Wow. And I'm getting my onion rings out. And I, it, it's a plain box, and it got that same exact little stamp on there. And, bruh, the food was cold, man. This is the onion ring. This is one of the onion rings from that. The food was cold. I'm looking like, man. And... I ain't go there for the food, no way. I, can't, I went for the experience, man. The hamburger, I got a cow tip and some onion rings, you know, because that was on the movie. So I, I decided I was going to get that, the, you know, with the ambiance, the whole thing of the movie. And the food was cold. It was in a, in a paper bag. It was just, it was like, wow, this this the place. Me and my wife started looking at each other. I'm like, yeah, this is it, dude. I'm telling you, man, like, they, they didn't have, it was like an abandoned building that they had decorated with a few posters just put up over there, over there. They had a flat screen with that movie playing. And I'm looking like, bruh, this is wild, man. And it was like, I went there to spend money, man. I went there to, to buy some stuff, to buy some memorabilia and stuff, you know, something. To say I was there, man. They, um, I ordered a lunchbox, and this is the lunchbox from the, the movie's lunchbox. This is one-sided, nothing in it. It can fold right over and do your thing, man. I, I bought it just because, you know, it was going to... I bought it for the damn logo, basically, man. To say I went there to show support and all this stuff. Bought some beer. Um, From there. About $25 for this, for six packers. Look like, I don't care, man. Probably ain't going to drink it no way. I might drink it tonight. I'm going to drink it tonight on the show tonight. 
I go live every Friday at nine. Y'all check me out. Um, but it was like, man, and I ain't trying to, you know, diss. Like I said, I ain't trying to diss him, but I, I just don't feel like he would have appreciated it, man. I don't think he appreciate they using his name, man. I think they seen it. They was like, hey, man, we can do a pop up shop of movies, and nerds like me gonna show up. And I showed up. My wife, like my, my wife, me and my wife was arguing. Like a day before, we weren't even talking to each other. I was mad about something, you know me. So um, she was, she seen it. She was like, "Damn, he mad. I'm mad, but he had like this." And she signed us up for it, and it was, broke the ice again. Like, "Hey, I love you again." Um, but for real, man, this this ain't it, man. Um, I, it was plenty of females there. Like, it was weird, you know, seeing that there a lot of females were there. Cause women they like it too, but it was like a lot of women bringing their their significant others, their husbands, boyfriends, whatever. And I seen every last female in there. They came in there. They had on a Kevin Smith shirt of of some sort. Jay and Silent Bob movies. It was like they were dragging those dudes in there. And I was like, and they looking unimpressed. Also, like man, the stuff they had for sale had nothing to do with movies. It had only to do with like Kevin Smith and Jay and Silent Bob. Damn, chasing Amy. It was like. What is this stuff, man? Like, I was so unimpressed, man. And it ain't nothing against Kevin Smith, man. It's like, bro, you need to highlight your people, man. Tell them, like, they need to get it together, man. Get it right. Like, that's your name they messing with, bro. And it was like, it was like the Kevin Smith Hall of Fame or something going up in there. It had, like, nothing to do with the movie. I'm talking about the people who was there didn't even know the movie. I was like, yo, you don't know the movie? He was like, nah, bro, I'm watching this right here, right now. And they wasn't even watching it. They was watching Jay and Silent Bob reboot. It ain't had nothing to do with movies. I ain't no stickler for stuff like that, man. But it was, I'm just looking, man. It's like the food wasn't great. It wasn't supposed to be that I know of. It, it's a fictional restaurant in the movie. It was like, I'm saying the hamburger had, um, the cheeseburger, the cow tipper, um, great quality meat still cold though like and i'm sorry looking at people people looking at their stuff and doing it like this and you know when you take some damn food and knock it on something they don't they don't mean that people like i'm looking like yeah bro and it was like man so man kevin smith man you ever see this here this man i don't want no refund i don't want no money back i just want you to um Make sure, make sure people have some passion into their project, man, when they doing this, man. Because it's your name, bro. And I went out there to see it, man. I went, like, they had big inflatable Jay and Silent Bobs and stuff like that, man. I, I, I tell you, man, it was a damn abandoned building with some posters, man. They just took a couple of them things like this, hung it up behind them, took it up there. I'm looking like, man. The ambiance was... They had they had um, music from the movies playing, but... Not movies, but the movie, like, this was a Pixar hut. Now it's all covered in daisies. Like, they playing stuff like that. So it, it got the, it didn't have a whole aura to it, man. It's like, oh, I'm so disappointed, man. I'm hurt. I ain't that hurt, man. But I just had to chime in on this, man, because I had to say something about it because it just didn't go well. I'm, I'm still mad at the Mujik. Like, man, don't do that, man. Kevin Smith, holler at your peoples, man. College of people, man. That was my little rant or review or however you want to say it or call it anything, man. But that's how it went down to me, man. And just I, I went to the Titanic Museum out there also. I touched the actual piece of the Titanic. They told me not to touch it, but I stuck my hand over the the rope and touched it anyway. That has nothing to do with this. I'm just trying to linger on a few more seconds to talk about stuff, man. Anyway, man, we're going to be talking about stuff like this tonight on this channel, man. I go live every Friday at 9 p.m., man. Um, At 9 p.m., yeah. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through and holler at your boy. Heist man the foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. Peace. I'm, I'm, hold on, man. That little, they had a Mujik, man. I can't get over that. Mujik. Mujik. Orlando Mujik. Oh, my God, man. I'm so mad. Anyway, Kevin Smith, holla at your boy. Heist man the folk. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. Peace.